the construction of this barn is so simple you want a piece of tubing plastic tubing about one inch in outside diameter and then you wind 12 turns of uh, wire by filer and that, that means you have two of them so there's the first one one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve Then you want another one with it as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And you take the top of one, join it to the bottom. That then, this is your coaxial feeder. And there's your centre connector. There's your braid. The braid connects to there. This point can also be connected to ground. This point here goes up and connects to your ladder line. That's your ladder line. This point here connects to the other side of your ladder line. So that becomes your balanced output. Um, this can be 10, 12, or 14 gauge thickness wire. Apparently, if you use 10 gauge wire, it will um, take the American legal limit whatever that is, a kilowatt. I've tested it, I've got mine with 14 gauge PVC coated wire and I've tested it to 200 watts. Apparently this balloon is good from 3 megahertz up to 30 megahertz. No need to worry about permeability of the core because it's just plastic. Uh, very very cheap to make and seems to work very well. A 4 to 1 balloon. Well here's a closer look at the 4 to 1 balloon. I've taken it out of its little casing so you can see. What I've done, i fitted an SO239 socket there. And here you can see um, the bifiler winding. I believe that you can actually twist these together if you want, but uh, I just um, interwound them like that. I've used sort of grey or black and white wires. It's important to use different coloured wires, so you can uh, you can see how it goes then. And uh, here is your balanced outputs. Um, basically, it's wind twelve turns on a one-inch plastic former, and then you connect the top darker coloured wire to the bottom lighter coloured wire and then that all goes to uh, to ground or to shield of the coax or both um, you can actually ground the antenna at this point or take a a, a ground wire uh, to uh, give the antenna ground potential and a, a path of DC current to go the other wire is connected to the centre coaxial connector and also taken to the balanced output and the other white wire there is the other balanced output right time to put it back in its case 
the case is just a little plastic bottle that was used um, for storing vitamin C uh, chewable tablets and I cut the thread off because um, I'm going to push push the two together and then to simply tape it I don't want to be pushing that in and then turning it and causing it all to twist two holes drilled here to allow these screws to come up throughout to uh, give me the terminal posts for connection to the ladder line well what you see here is the, the finished uh, ballon just taped it up with some uh, duct tape seems to be quite good stuff that actually uh, not especially a neat job but electrically it will do what I want it to do and there's your unbalanced input there's your balanced output a 4 to 1 balance All you have to do now is connect the balanced output to the ladder line. As I do that, it's just starting to rain. Connect the coax. Yeah. 